Hey guys, so for today's video, as you can see, we're back and we're playing Dream Daddy again. Now, this game is the game that nobody asked for, but we all wanted. <laughs> so last episode, we created our character, Jamie James, and then we also met his daughter, Amanda, and then um, we also went to the park. We met Brian, uh, Brian's daughter, what was her name? I can't remember, annoying little shit. Um, sorry, that was too far. We also uh, met their dog, Maxwell, very cute, would rate it a 13 out of 10. Um, then we went to the coffee shop and we met Matt, who was like the coolest person ever. So now we're gonna go meet some more dads. Daddiest graphics quality. <laughs> I'm just gonna get buzzed up every time I listen to this. I hope you guys are ready. Dream Daddy. So I think we're now back at the house after we've been to the coffee shop to meet Matt. I think that's what's going on anyway. <laughs> well, my light's gone out. Oh my God, sorry, I've just realized guys, I didn't, I totally didn't mean for that to go out. Oh my god, I bet that was why I had to overexpose my camera because then lights are out. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer slash dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Ooh, nice doorbell. Um, first visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello. Oh. That noise. Why do they all make fucking creepy sex noises? Like just saying, asking for a friend, you know? Ooh, hi. A handsome, clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Yes, he's brought cookies like a winner. But then he also has this like jumper tied around his neck. Like, mm -mm, not in this household. <laughs> I'm not a Tory. Hello? <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbour. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Jamie, and that's what my name is. Thanks, Jamie. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let me know, to let you... Wow, it's begun already. We're four seconds into this video. <laughs> I saw the moving van outside and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know that she baked them herself. Why can't I read? <laughs> Joseph leans in and whispers. Mm. Right, if he makes that noise one more fucking time. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a oh. smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda come back and she's gone. <laughs> That's my daughter, her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughter's a, right, I swear to God, right, I'm trying to ignore these noises, but I just can't. Every time he says something, he's like, mmm, like I just can't do it. Daughters are tough. Sons are also oh. tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. Oh, Jamie, <laughs> damn. That's like me. Like, I always got to put my foot in it. Like, somewhere. Like, literally, it don't even matter where it is. It's just somewhere I got to put my foot in it. What have you done, literally? Oh, uh, I meant. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That was so awkward. Is the missus around? No. <laughs> Mister, actually. And, um, no, not anymore. He died. Oh, I didn't come here for this. Honestly, it's sad as fuck. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? What fucking... What? <laughs> Why? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. This is cute, okay? <laughs> Hey, I'm your new neighbour, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I threw in a barbecue for the cul-de-sac and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbours in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbour, I'll see you at 3pm, sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbour. Do you know what? They pulled it back. <laughs> Joseph starts walking away but stops to think for a second and turns around. Mm. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. 
Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> you look pretty young to me. Oh, compliment. <laughs> but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room with crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. Me. <laughs> that was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Mm. They're gone, I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they were very good. <laughs> so you ate all of them anyway? I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Jo- okay. Oh, I have one option, it's Joseph probably wants his plate back. <laughs> like, what's the point? Give me a choice. <laughs> I think we get a ton of good neighbour points if we bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighbours in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbours' butts with kindness. Harry Styles. <laughs> Joking. Treat people with kindness and all that. Amanda and I step outside. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all of the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Wow, let's just assess these kids. Those kids look creepy. Like, the twins look very creepy. That older one looks like you just don't want to be there. Like, they all look creepy. <laughs> hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. Look, ew, they're so creepy. <laughs> we just wanted to um, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Christy's like, no. <laughs> they were really good. Christian, Christian, Christian. Ew. <laughs> I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris, Christian, Christy, and Chris. Ew. <laughs> I chuckle nervously. Mm. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this place down on the ground and real gently and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Uh. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Mm -hmm. You've been awake for what, three hours? <laughs> and that's three hours too many. Me. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Jamie, bro. Hey. I turn around and I'm greeted by, oh my God, you look like an anime character. <laughs> I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig, mm -hmm. bro, bro. This is one of the most straightest interactions I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy, wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Haha, <laughs> his one's bro, I can't. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Okay, Jamie. <laughs> Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. And they were roommates. <laughs> they were roommates. That was a good one. And they were roommates. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big there. Hello, and hello, cute baby. That is a cute baby. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. <gasps> I love the name River. Oh, okay, I kind of like, oh my God. Favorite dad at the moment is Craig. Like, you know, he already knows Jamie and he has a cute baby called River. <laughs> we love him. <laughs> Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, damn Jamie, this is like an essay, I'm not here for it. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and next with both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I mean Ashley, Ashley is her name. <laughs> she actually still goes by Smashley. And uh, we got divorced last year. Jamie, put your foot in it one more time, mate. I swear down. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all cop copacetic. Copacetic? I know how to say that word, but I don't know what that word means. So, good start. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro. Right? Kegstan Craig is a father of three. Mm. Kegstan Craig. Mm. <laughs> oh, haha, yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January the 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. 
me. Well, it's never too late to go back into it, dude. You should join me sometimes. We will. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure, sounds great. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of mar marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce. I can't say that. <laughs> and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. He said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically he's not wrong. He jogs, he was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can oh. sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm. Oh, dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna, right, it's gonna be sad again because I didn't come here for this. <laughs> it's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photographer major. I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Yeah. Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future, not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah blah blah. Uh, we... Your face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. No! Not Amanda! Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. <sighs> It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just wanted to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh. Oh, and before I forget, MRR and MRP are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So, what was that noise for? <laughs> so, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully and cool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yeah. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I'm secretly the mayor of this town, got to attend the union meeting, I'm going clubbing. Wait, if we click I'm going clubbing, is he actually going to go clubbing? Because I kind of want that. I'm going to click I'm going clubbing. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Mm. Alright, but I'm not going to come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go to bed. Go out and watch the game. Ah. Uh... Go out and watch the game. <laughs> nice. Huh? Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. <laughs> the game on TV. That's somewhere other than oh. here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna <laughs> gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. Nice. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at least. Yeah. I'm a street rat pop. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Mm. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Oh. No, making fun of sports is played oh. out. All right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. 
Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Like, Tori Vega, oh my god. <laughs> Why was that the first place my mind went? <laughs> You're Vega, I'm like, Tori. <laughs> yep, totally remembered, I'll be there. Are we going to the game? Well, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still doesn't show me how to use a GPS on my phone, so I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. That's a stupid idea. Let's go this way. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be? That's ominous. It's a bar. A big burnt out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's her. All right, I'll do it. All right, I'll do it. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sound in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Can we just stop and talk about this music? It honestly is a bop. Like, it's like kind of like a chilled bop, but like it's still a bop, you know what I mean? Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. <laughs> He's neither. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly coloured mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favourite team, hoping I don't get any I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in this bar are wearing distinctive colours of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanour that, like me, their passion for the team is all good, is all in good fun. Hey. Is this Kim? A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass siddles up to me at the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Um, what we're not gonna do is that. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Ooh. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often? Oh no, actually, I just moved to this part of town today. I'm Jamie, by the way. Mm. Are you watching the game? Why are they all like, the game? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the, ge the game <laughs> with ease. <laughs> oh, I love that team and I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. <laughs> hmm. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Bitch, me too! The fuck? Uh, yeah. Buy a gala drink? Buy Mary a drink or don't buy Mary a drink. Oh, see, if we don't buy her a drink, are we just being pure rude? But if we buy her a drink, are we being like, yo, bitch, we're interested, you know what I mean? Because, like, bitch, we ain't, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't want to be rude, but at the same time, I want to be like, no. Oh, um, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I'll buy her a drink, shall I? I almost reluctantly see. <laughs> Signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company hey. now. S no, you, you can go, it's fine. <laughs> so what do you wanna know? What's your deal? What do you think of the game? What's the latest gossip around here? I wanna know the gossip, yes. Spill the tea. <laughs> So my laptop has just died, which is actually really gutting, but I'm gonna leave this video here I know it's literally the worst time for it, but you know we can be a cliffhanger for this episode uh, What was Mary's intentions? You know, did she just want a free drink? Is she lonely? Um, you know, will we ever see Craig again? Uh, will Joseph's demonic children ever not be demonic? <laughs> so yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon in the video. Goodbye